What's up, Chiefs Kingdom? Day two of the NFL draft set to get going here in about five or six hours. On today's show, we'll do a day two mock draft. But before we do that, hit that subscribe button, support the show, because we'll have more analysis of the Chiefs draft picks tonight. So hit that big red button and subscribe, and don't miss out here on the Chiefs Report. Welcome into the Chiefs Report. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. Like I said, day two gets going here in five or six hours, so I thought I'd cook up a Chiefs mock draft. Before we do that, I want to kind of rehash what happened last night as Kansas City made a pair of selections, traded up to get Washington cornerback Trent McDuffie at number 21 overall, sent out a late third and a fourth to do so to move up from 29 to 21. Uh, George Carl Loftus, the edge out of Purdue, was the pick at number 30. If you missed my Chiefs draft grades video, go check that out on the channel after this video. Uh, it's my most recent video. Uh, loved both picks. I thought it was a great start to the draft for Kansas City, and now we all get to sit back, wait, and see uh, what general manager Brett Veach uh, does as we get into uh, night number two, rounds two and three, coming up this evening. Now, here's the remaining draft capital after night one, which, of course, featured that trade in which they lost a couple of picks. Uh, but you still have three picks today, number 50, number 62, and round two. You got that comp pick in round three, number 103, number 135, and round four tomorrow, and then four seven-round picks. We'll see if maybe uh, Veach trades back from one of the picks today to get maybe uh, a pick or two in round five or six, uh, but we'll see what happens on that front. Who do you want the Chiefs to draft today? Uh, I think wide receiver is going to be an area of interest for Kansas City. Let us know down in the comment section who you would like to go out and target for KC. Uh, and then uh, after this YouTube ad break, uh, we will uh, get into my mock draft. All right, day two mock draft coming at you. Round two, pick number 50. George Pickens was still on the board out of Georgia. This feels fairly unlikely, but this is an unpredictable draft. You just never know. Weirder things could happen. And uh, I'll tell you what, if Pickens is available, I would love it at pick number 50. I think the value is great. I think he's got wide receiver one potential. He's big. He's fast. He's strong. He can catch 50-50 balls get separation, uh, had some injuries in college, only played in 35 passing uh, downs this year because uh, of the ACL injury that caused him to miss most of the season. But he's got real upside in the Chiefs need a receiver. Who says no to George Pickens? Not me in the second round. I think that value is really, really good. Uh, you know, it would give you more size of the position, and that's kind of a direction the Chiefs have gone this offseason. They uh, went out and got Juju Smith-Schuster, who's a big target guy. Valdez Scantling has good size. We'll see if Josh Gordon factors in this year. He obviously is a big body as well. You add George Pickens, though. He's one of your outside guys. Hardman's probably your other one, him or Valdez Scantling. The other one is a rotation guy, and then Juju can play that big slot uh, for you as well. I think Pickens has real, real, real uh, big upside. There are some question marks about character concerns, uh, kind of vague what those reports are, but I'll be fascinated to see uh, what they do on that front. Now, here's some of the top receivers available, some draft targets to keep in mind for tonight. For Kansas City, Sky Moore, George Pickens, some of our higher rated ones here at Chat Sports. Christian Watson, Alec Pierce still available. Jalen Tolbert, John Mechie, Calvin Austin, and David Bell. All some guys that could come off the board today. In this draft pick, I opted to go with George Pickens. Is wide receiver the Chiefs' biggest need right now? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I think that it is after night one of the draft. You could add another edge. You could add uh, a linebacker. You could get a defensive tackle if you want. But I think uh, that uh, currently wide receiver is this team's biggest need. Round two, pick number 62 of this day two mock draft. My Jai Sanders, the edge out of Cincinnati. So I'm going to add another pass rusher here after getting George Carl off this uh, in round one at pick number 30. My Jai Sanders still here out of the Bearcats. Good athlete, interesting type of build, 6'5", 228. He's a little slight, but he could drop back into coverage a little bit if needed. Uh, good hands, can bat down passes with that uh, long frame as well. Needs to finish plays more. I'd like it if he could put on 10 or 15 pounds, get into that 240-pound range just to you know be able to fight off those big tackles and guards a little bit more in the National Football League. I would like to add another edge, though, uh, and I think uh, Sanders is – 
versatile enough where, you know, he could drop a little bit if you need him to uh, in, you know, certain situations. Uh, I, I think Karloftis was a good start, but you still look at this position here for Kansas City. Uh, you know, you've got Frank Clark. I think Karloftis will probably start. Michael Dan is a decent rotation piece, but what else do you have off the edge? We don't know what Joshua Kando is. Chris Jones might give you some snaps at defensive end again this year, uh, but I like him better inside. I think drafting another edge makes sense, uh, unless the Chiefs plan on re-signing a guy like Melvin Ingram after the draft in NFL free agency. Now, we will be live for rounds two and three tonight on our main chat sports youtube channel it's youtube.com slash chat sports tv we'll get to see who comes off the board for every single draft pick uh not just for the chiefs but of course the chiefs picks as well you'll see me from time to time over there you'll see uh the rest of the squad as well tom downey uh chase senior mitchell Renz and the boys uh and of course our great production team so go subscribe uh the link will be in the comments and in the description of this video it's youtube.com slash chat sports tv all right, round three, pick 103, Calvin Austin, the wide receiver out of Memphis. Uh, this is what I'm going to call the fun pick for the Chiefs. This is a Andy Reid, Eric Bieniemy, Patrick Mahomes pick here uh, because this is a fun player, undersized, gadget type of guy, really fast, really quick. Uh, I think they could have uh, some fun with this player. You look at the scouting report from Tom Downey, our draft analyst here. Uh, he's very small. Make no mistake. I mean, he's you know he's he's uh, he's a lot smaller than Tyree Kill. And it's not like Tyree Kill is six foot two hundred. He you know he was small too. Uh, great athlete though. Sprinter in college. Uh, so he's got you know. Uh, blow by speed on the outside. He can also be a return guy for you, which I like quite a bit, especially if McCole Hardman is going to be your number two receiver, potentially your number three, take him off punt return duties. Calvin Austin could be that guy. You, you know, he wouldn't be a starter. I don't think on your offense at receiver, but I think he'd be a gadget guy that gave you 25 snaps per game on offense. Be a guy that would rotate in and do some jet sweeps, take some screens, uh, you know, some slant, some stuff like that. Uh, I think they'd have a lot of fun with him. I think the enemy and uh, this offense would get creative with Calvin Austin, uh, especially in the red zone uh, where they like to get creative as well. I think late in round three, early round four, which is where this pick is, 103, one of the last picks of the third round, is about the range of where I would expect Calvin Austin to get drafted. Who is your favorite pick in this day two mock draft? Type GP for George Pickens, type MS for Myjai Sanders, or you can type CA for Calvin Austin. A couple of receivers, one edge rusher. I'm going to go with George. George Pickens. All right, uh, just want to kind of rehash some of the top players available at a few positions that I think the Chiefs could target. We mentioned the receivers. We'll kind of mention those again. I would opt for George Pickens over Sky Moore, I think, uh, just uh, based on stylistic play, but we'll see. Not the biggest Christian Watson guy, but I wouldn't mind it at 50 or 62, I guess. Uh, I like Pickens and more, the, more, uh, more, more though. Uh, Alec Pierce, uh, I think, is a guy at 62. Jalen Tolbert and John Mechie could be in that range. Calvin Austin, David Bell, I wouldn't take them at 50 or 62. If they're there at 103, cool. That's where I got Calvin Austin. A uh, couple of edges on the board, too. Arnold Ebiketti, uh, Ebiketti, excuse me, is there. Uh, Boye Mafe uh, is an interesting player. He was mocked to the Chiefs a few times in round one. He falls around two. We'll see where he goes. David Ajabo, I think that's a name to keep in mind. Uh, the Chiefs could afford to draft him after getting Carl Loftus, even though he could miss all or at least most of his rookie year with that torn Achilles. And then Logan Hall, who's kind of a tweener. He can play edge or he can play three tech. Uh, I like his versatility. And then you look at some of the linebackers. Uh, what if N'Kobe Dean falls to 50? Do you take him? Apparently there could be some knee concerns, but he's one of the best players in this draft when healthy, I think. Chad Muma's a name that I think is an interesting player. Leo Chanel, more of an old-school backer, really likes to get downhill than Christian Harris with more of those coverage skills. And then some of those interior defensive linemen. Travis Jones, a, a nose tackle. I don't think he'd be a guy Kansas City would necessarily target, but he's out there. Fidarian Mathis is a player I like in round three. Uh, Perrion Winfrey, round two, round three as well. Uh, and then DeMarvin Leal out of Texas. Is a and m So those are just some names at some positions that I think the Chiefs could target. We'll see what happens tonight. That's why you subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash uh, Chiefs TV. I will have analysis of tonight's picks, and then uh, I think the plan is to do another grades video at the end of the night. So stay tuned for that, youtube.com slash uh, Chiefs TV. And then also, give me a follow on social media, at NFL on Twitter. You can find me there on Instagram as well. Ha same handle, both platforms. We'll try to keep you up to date over there as well. All right, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned. In a few hours, the draft we'll start for night number two.